Welcome back, True Seeker. More tragedy from the world of celebrity. This time it is the singer, Cola Boy, dead at 34. And the headlines are leading on that he died from the disabilities that he lived with his entire life. The articles also point out that he collaborated with the lead singer of the hit band MGMT. And what I want to show are the familiar patterns that we talk about so often when entertainers die. If you're new here, please look up the song Murder by Numbers by The Police from 1983, where killing is as simple as ABC is 1, 2, 3. And also look up the song Gematria, the killing name, where Gematria is the practice of coding numbers into words. Both songs allude to the same thing. And a pattern we talk about a lot with entertainers is the presence of the number 46. And there are countless examples, but one of the most blatant ones of all time was when Coolio, the rapper, died the other year. He died on the 46th anniversary of Stevie Wonder's album that had the hit song on it, Pastime Paradise, which of course was the sample for Gangster's Paradise. But it matters that he died on the 46th anniversary because Genesis 46 is about sacrifice and in Gematria, the word sacrifice equates to 46. And in this case, Cola Boy has died 46 days after the birthday of the MGMT singer, who's a megastar. You know, most people, they probably haven't heard of Cola Boy. But MGMT, even if you don't recognize the band right now, I bet if I played one of their songs, you'd be like, oh, yeah, I've heard their music before because they've been all over the radio for more than a decade. So they point out that he's dead at 34. We know this is also a fateful number that shows up a lot. Not as much as 46, but the word murder equates to 34. We just talked about this with the dead former Boeing employee who supposedly committed suicide. It's noteworthy that Oxnard, where this musician hails from, is also on the 34th parallel north. But if you're new here, something we talk about every single month, the kill date. And there's one date each month that gets circled as the kill date. This month, it was March 17th. They're saying that's what day Cola Boy passed away. What makes it the kill date is the numerology of the date. So March 17th, 24 had numerology of 28, 64, and a lesser date numerology of 44. Plus, it was the 17th of the month. And you can see the word kill equates to 44 when you take the alphabetic order. A is 1 up to Z is 26. So K would be the 11th letter. I'd be the 9th. L'd be the 12th. L'd be the 12th. You add the letters as numbers. Kill equates to 44. Kill equates to 17 when you take the alphabetic order with numerology. So K is worth 2 instead of 11 because the numerology of 11 is 1 plus 1 is 2. I is worth 9. L, the 12th letter, becomes 1 plus 2 is 3. So you have 2 plus 9 plus 3 plus 3, which is 17. Kill 64 when you run the alphabetic order in reverse. So in that cipher, K would be 16, I would be 18, L would be 15, L would be 15 again, add it up, kill 64. And then the last cipher is the alphabetic order with numerology. I'll let you practice with that one. But yeah, that's what makes the kill date. And since this month it fell on the 17th, you have all the values of kill. Again, there are four base ciphers. You're seeing them. MGMT, the band has that 17. One of Cola Boy's first big hits was Buggy Tip, which equates to 44 as well. And month after month, it's the same type of thing. Adding insult to injury, his debut EP was called Black Boogie Neon, which equates to 77. And he died on March 17th, which in a leap year, which this year is, is the 77th day of the year. Talked about the mass shooting in the nation's capital on the 77th Meridian and how all three of the mass shootings yesterday that were in the news all had an Irish connection on St. Patrick's Day when the Masonic Lodge named after St. Patrick is Lodge number 77. But in this case, he connects because of the gematria of his debut album. So RIP to this young man. And again, I don't think it was his disability that took his life on March 17th. Again, entertainment, so many premature passings, and so many lies in the headlines. Till next time, True Seeker.